Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 21L. Okay, before we go into this question, I want to show us the two methods we can use to resize images for web pages. Okay, the first method is to change the display size of the image in the markup. Okay, so we can just uh, write just a line of code to reduce the image. An advantage of this is that it is easier. Disadvantage is it often uses large image files. Okay, so even though that you reduce the size of the image in the web in the web page, all right, the the size of the image on the storage will not change. Okay, if it is 30 MB, it remains 30 MB even though on the web page it's um you know it looks the image looks small. Okay, the second disadvantage is it is slower to upload because of the file size. The file size may be big, so it will be slower to upload. It can delay the display of um, a completed page, web page. Okay, so when even if the image is small on the web page, on the storage is still big, so which means that it might waste time. It might delay, it might slow down the you know the loading of a of a web page okay that's for method one method two is that you can use a graphics package like photoshop um, ms paint corel draw to reduce the image before you now you know add it to your web page okay uh, the ad advantages of using the method two is that it saves storage space as a result of what reduce file size so you reduce the file size using a graphics package before for you know adding it to your web page so that's an advantage so the second advantage is web page images look bigger so as a result of reduced image reduced file size that is the image size it it helps the web page to load quicker okay one disadvantage of using a you know um, a graphic package is that you know you, you're going to have a low resolution image Okay, your image when you zoom in, it will look pixelated. Okay, it will look blurry. Okay, when you zoom in, that's one disadvantage. Okay, so but um, what uh, what web um, web designers they do is that they're going to have a thumbnail more more like a very a small size of an image on a web page. So when you click on that image, the image is going to now open. It will link you up to a a new page where the the bigger size or the the high quality or high resolution image of that same type is okay on a, in a, on a new tab something like that okay so that's that's you know the technique so you create a web page for that image in such a way that you can you can click on it the thumbnail and then it opens um, a bigger resolution on a new tab so that's those are the two methods you can use to resize the you know images on a web page now we're going to demonstrate that from the question here so the question now says open the file web page 2 web page 2.htm use both methods which i've just explained to resize this image to 80 pixels wide and compare the relative file sizes of the two images okay save both versions of your web page now i'm going to have um first of all let me get the files i will need for this task okay uh, where are they? Oh, no, no. Chapter 21. I'm going to go to chapter 21. I'm going to get the remora.htm. I'm going to get the remora.jpg, total.jpg, and then the web page 2.jpg. So I'm going to copy that. So I've already created a folder in web, web design folder here. So I have tax 21L here. So I'm going to just dump these files here. Now, one, one thing I wanted to, to notice is the remora. So, our focus is on the remora.jpg. So, if you see that the file size is 29 KB. Now, I will go to the, so, um, the web page 2.htm. I'm going to open that using a browser, as a matter of fact, so that we can see how the image, the remora image looks like. Um, open with uh, Google Chrome. Okay. 
So our interest is the remora.jpg, which is the fish here. All right. As you can see, the image is large. Okay. So I'm going to go to the code and then resize the image width to 80 pixels and then reload the page and see how it looks like. So I'm going to load the web page to the PTM. I'm going to open it with um, Notepad++. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to really, what I'm going to do now is to reduce the image by using this, the star attribute. So equals um, this. So I'm going to reduce the width of the image, so which is the remora. So our interest is the remora here. Okay. So I'm going to remove reduce the, the width to 80 pixels and then I will save my changes and then go back to my browser and then refresh and then this, as you can see the fish here has reduced okay of course because of the reduction it will align these total total images here all right so as you can see it has reduced to 80 pixels the width has reduced to 80 pixels all right so now now it has reduced to 80 pixels, it, does, it still does not change the size of the image at the storage here. As you can see, it is still 29 KB, just like we said. So the image can reduce on the web page, but not on the storage. Okay? So which means that's one, you know, disadvantage because the storage is still the same. The file size is still the same on the storage. Now we're going to use a graphic pa package to reduce the image now to 80 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to open the image using just paint. Okay, let me just use paint to reduce the size of the image. And then we're going to compare the original image with the new image. So I'm going to go to size pixel, then make it 80 pixel. Okay, now if you look at the image here, down here, it is um, 28.4 KB. By the time I create the new image, of course, by the time I reduce it to uh, the width to 80 pixels, is going to reduce so let me okay that so i'm going to just save us go to save us so, so that i can still have a copy of the original image so i'm going to have this one as remora one okay good so now i've saved the new image now as you can see the size has reduced to 19.1 kb all right so let me close this and then go back to the image as you can see the remora one is 29 KB and then the Remora 2, sorry, the, the, the Remora is 29 KB, which is the original image. So the, the new image, which is the Remora 1, is now 20 KB. That is 9 KB difference. Okay? So the same image, but different sizes. Are you with me? Good. So what I'm going to do is to add the Remora 1 to the web page. Obviously, it's not going to change because, of course, they're the same size. You, of course, it will look the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm just going to go to Remora here on the on the code. I'm going to put one here. That's what I need. So so now, and um, first of all, let me go and refresh and then see that you see that there's no change here. Why? Because of course that won't be changed because it's 80 pixels. Okay. So even if I go back and change and remove the style, the the width here. It's still not going to change because originally the image is 80 pixels. I've used a graphic package to change that. So I'm going to save my changes and then go back to refresh the page. Uh, let me refresh the page. As you can see, nothing is going to change because I'm, I am now referring to the remora one from the code here. Okay, so nothing is going to change. So even if I don't, you know, use style style attribute to reduce the size. The image, the Remora one, is going to be, um, it's already 80 pixels. So if I remove this, if I remove the one, it will refer to the original image. I'll save that. I'll save my changes and then go back, refresh. As you can see, it will return to its original. Okay, so we can play around by having, let me just have um, my style back here. Is that good? My style back here and then save that. Is going to have it's going to reduce it again to 80 pixels on the web page but not on the file are you with me yeah so that's it okay um, that's about that so the next thing i'm going to do is simply to save 
um, I'm going to save this web page. Let me just save it as um, Tax 21. Let me save this as Tax 21 L. Tax 21 L. Sorry. Okay. I'll save this one as Tax 21 L. Um, yeah. So that's about it. That's the that's that answers the question. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.